Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Gamer Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video and welcome to episode 5 of the Texas Longhorns Rebuild Series. And ladies and gentlemen, today is a big episode. We are entering these three games with a 7-2 record. If we go 3-0, we have a very good chance at 1, playing in the Big 12 Championship game, and then 2 if we win, playing in a New Year's Six Bowl game in the first year of our rebuild. To do that, we're going to go on the road and play at the Colorado Buffaloes. Then we come home, we take on the Virginia Tech Hokies, and to end the regular season, we have the Red River rivalry. We are hosting the Oklahoma Sooners. Of course, two-minute quarters, hard difficulty using a controller for the gameplay. We're going to need a big day out of Amari Hookham. We're going to need a big day out of Ali Van Noy and even our quarterback, Jawil Ishmael, on defense. We need all the guys to step up. We're taking on Colorado first. And before the game starts, let's get our fan support up. We want to get the fans supporting our squad. And we're taking on the 2-7 and seven Colorado Buffaloes. Here we go. Should be an easy game, but we do have to take care of business. Kick off Colorado with the ball. They're driving, and they get a touchdown. So our defense, they got a little sloppy, gave up a touchdown on the first drive. First play, Amari Hookham gets stuffed for no gain. Second down, Ali Van Noy with the catch. Let's go. Let's go, Ali. 16 yards first down. You love to see it. On first down, we're handing it right back to Amari Hookham. Good little juke. Once he got into that hole between tackle and guard, he picks up six yards at second and four. We're going to do a little swing pass to him. He's a half yard short. He gets three yards. So third and inches. Going to run it with Amari Hookham. He gets the first down. Pickup of nine. Chains keep moving. Let's go, baby. Let's go. On first down. Okay, we were trying to look for a fluke or deep. Coverage was good, so we scramble with Jalil Ishmael. We pick up four yards. We've got second and six. Second and six. Okay, Amari Hookham. A little too aggressive. Loses three yards. So we've got third and ten coming up. On third and ten, Ali Van Noy. He's open. He's going to keep the offense moving 17 yards in a first down, and that is where we start quarter number two. Mari Hookham on first down, and he gets eight yards. He was an ankle tackle away from getting to the end zone. Second and short, and he gets the first down. First and goal inside the two. We'll go to Hookham one more time, dive forward, and get the touchdown to make it a 7-6 game. We'll kick the extra point, and that should tie things at seven. Yes, it does. Kick it off. Colorado with the ball. They run. Feeler can't get them. And Colorado, they score a touchdown. It's 14-7. 49 seconds left until the half. We're going to try to get hook him out of the backfield. We overthrow it. Incomplete. Second down. Looking to a Lee Van Noy. That is caught. That is a first down. Get out of bounds. Gain of 14. 35 seconds left in the half, and we hit Amari Hookham. That's a first down and more. Get out of bounds. Gain of 18. 27 seconds left. On first down, back to Van Noy we go, and he gets another catch. We'll get him out of bounds. We're inside the 20. 18 seconds left in the half. We're actually going to run it with Amari Hookham, and he breaks some tackles. He's down inside the one. First and goal, 10 seconds left. We're going to audible, and we're just going to punch it right up the middle. Hook him with the one-yard rushing touchdown. Makes it 14-13. We'll kick the extra point. Did we miss it? We missed it. That's not good. But we cut the deficit to one, and we get the ball to start the second half. Hand it to Hook him starting half number two. Big run, gain of 10. That should be close to a first down, and indeed it is a first down. Then we pick up five yards on first down. Second and five coming up. On second and five, we bounce it outside. We only get two yards, so third and three. This is a big play. We're going to go right up the middle, dive forward, pick up four yards and a first down. Good play, Amari, good play. On first down, little check down, little pass. He only gets a yard, so it's second and nine. This is kind of a reversal from the last couple episodes where normally he's better as a receiver. Today, so far, he's better as a rusher. 
We get Lee Van Noy, though, 19 yards and a first down. On that first down, we get Hookham. He's loose, gain of 15. He's down around the five first and goal. On first and goal, he gets stuffed. That's okay, though. He's broken some long runs recently. Okay, run backwards, break that tackle, get outside. What a touchdown run from Amari Hookham. We're going to go for two because we missed that extra point. We're just going to run it, and we get it. So we're up 7, 21-14. And Colorado with the ball. They're driving, and they get a touchdown. So we're tied at 21, headed to the fourth quarter. Okay, that is not what I expected to have going on. Pass to Fluker, he drops it, it's incomplete. Second and 10, we're going to use an audible. We're still going to look for Fluker, but on the in route, there we go, he picks up seven yards, so we've got third and three here. Minute 43 and counting. Amari Hookham with the run, he gets four yards, he gets the first down, he keeps things moving. On first down, bounce it outside, Get the speed up, get the speed up. Five-yard gain, not bad, not bad. On second and five, there we go. That's a first down and more. Big run, gain of 14. Minute and 15 seconds left on the clock. If anything, we want you to be down in bounds, though, Amari. Let the clock run. Good job there, picking up three yards, keeping the clock running. We get another five yards. We've got third and a long one coming up. We bounce it outside off tackle. That is a first down. Let's ice the game away. Oh, we tried the stutter step. Didn't quite work, but 18 yards, and we've got first and goal at the six. There we go. There we go. That is a touchdown. Let's go, Amari Hookham. Kick the extra point. Kick is up, and it's good. And we're up 28-21. to 21. Colorado, they're driving, but we stop them short. Hook'em Horns were 8-2 with a 28-21 victory. Let's see. And Sir Feeler, I saw you missing way too many tackles. You're getting criticized, man. I want to be a player's coach, but you just weren't making plays when we needed you to. One tackle the whole game. That's not good. Our coordinator's contracts are expiring at the end of the season. I don't know that we'll bring him back. I don't know that we won't. We'll decide on that at the end of the season, but let's... Come back home to Texas. We're 8-2. and two. Let's take care of business against Virginia Tech so we can get into this huge game looming with the Oklahoma Sooners. I can meet with the Boosters, or I can meet with the team. Boosters, I love you guys, but the team, I need to meet with them. I'm about this season. We'll worry about next season when we get to next season. Let's take on the Virginia Tech Hokies. Okay, they're a little bit better than Colorado, but I think we should be able to take care of business here. Get the ball starting off. Amari Hookham, first play, picks up three yards. Call it three and a half. Second and seven. We're going to look to Fluker. He didn't do much last game. I don't necessarily expect him to do a whole lot, but we want to keep him involved. Gain of 15, we'll take it. That's a first down. Then we go right back to him. A gain of 13, so two catches, 28 yards. It's just a little nice change of pace. Then we hit a Lee Van Noy, our tight end, on this first down. That's 14 yards. So three passes for 42 yards. And now let's go back to the ground. Amari Hookham picks up four. Not bad, not bad. On second and six. We're going to use an audible. We're going to bounce it up. There we go. That's a first down gain of seven. Good running from Hookham. On first down, we've got Ali Van Noy wide open. Not the greatest pass, but enough that he can catch it. And that's 20 yards, first and goal at the 6.5. On first and goal to Amari Hook, and we hand the ball. He runs back, he runs forward. That is a 7-yard touchdown. It is 6 nothing. Longhorns kicking the extra point, and the kick is up. It is good from Landry. It is 7-0 Texas, and the defense... They showed up to play. We forced the punt from the Hokies. Uh, Got sacked on first down. I was trying to get Hookham, but he wasn't coming open. He got jammed up in the blocking scheme. Second and 16, we pick up seven yards, and we head to the second quarter. Third down and nine. We're going to go to Lee Van Noy. Hopefully he can help us pick up the first down, and he does. A gain of 12. 
on first down here, hand to Amari Hookham, bounce it outside. That's a big time run. Cuts back and bounds, gain a 13 and a first down. On first down, we've got Ali Van Noy to the outside. That is nine yards, second and short coming up. Perfect down to run the ball with Amari Hookham. He gets the first down, gain of six. We're just shy of the red zone. Minute 19 and counting in the second quarter. Already up 7-0, and we're looking for more. Hit five more yards from Amari Hookham there. Second down, you're going to pass to him. That's a first down, gain of 12. We're down to the four, just under a minute left here. And let's run the ball, gain of three. We're down at the one and a half. Second and goal, little pass to Amari Hookham, and he gets the touchdown. It's 13-0. Longhorns kick the extra point, and it is 14-0. Let's go. Virginia Tech with the ball, and we forced another punt. But then we kneeled it out, took it to half. Virginia Tech does score to start the third quarter and make it a 14-7 game. But we're back on offense. And a look to Fluker, he drops it. That was underthrown. On second and 10, we are going to look to Van Noy. That is cop. That is 11 yards and a first down. On first down, we're going to do a little pass to Amari Hookham. He only gets a yard. So it's second and nine coming up. On second and nine, we're going to run it with Amari Hookham. Bounces it outside, cuts it back inside very slightly, picks up 10. That's a first down. On first down, bounce it outside, breaks some tackles, picks up six. Amari Hookham, he is too good. On second and forward, taking a deep shot to Fluker. He drops it. It's incomplete. Third down and four. Bounce it outside with Amari Hookham, and he stopped short. So we head to the fourth quarter. It's 14-7. Fourth down, and we're going to kick the field goal and try to make it a two-possession game. The kick is up, and it is good, so it's 17-7. to Virginia Tech with the ball. They're driving. They get the touchdown. They kick it off, so we have the ball back, up by three with a minute left. We go deep over the top, and that is a Lee Van Noy, 19 yards and a first down. On first down, let's start running it with Amari Hookham. He needed to bounce outside. Just the sticks got a little sticky. So he only picked up a yard. Second and nine, he only gets a yard. So third and eight, and we're suddenly in a danger zone. We're going to Van Noy. That is cop. That is a first down. That should ice the game away. That should ice things away. Down to 21 seconds. We're easily in field goal range. Pick up two yards with Hookham. We're going four second down. We'll use several audibles. Try to get the best look we can. We'll take our five-yard run there. And then we'll kick a field goal, try to ice the game away, and if not, the ball should be in the air long enough for the clock to hit triple zeros, which it does. You get the field goal, and we win 20-14. to So we are going into our game, the Red River rivalry against Oklahoma at 9-2 with a must-win opportunity to make it to the Big 12 championship. We're going to criticize Colton Tremble. You know, outside of those first half stops, didn't do much in the second half. One or two tackles a player. What are you guys doing on defense? And we'll recap our stats quick from this last game. Amari Hookham, 16 carries, 81 yards, three catches, 14 yards, two touchdowns overall. Jawil Ishmael, 12 of 14 for 140 yards, and that touchdown he was sacked once. Did he run it at all this past game? I really should remember. One carry for no yards. So overall, not bad from the offense. We've got a big game here against Oklahoma. And loading into our game against Oklahoma, Nasir Feeler was playing Retro Bowl on his phone. Always praise your players for playing Retro Bowl. Never find them. So Nasir Feeler, you're watching extra film. I wish you'd watch the film I'm showing you, but I appreciate the effort. Here we go, taking on Oklahoma. They've got the cream uniforms. We've got our burnt orange. They've got a five-star offense, a four-star defense. We've got a four-star offense, a three-star defense. Oklahoma has a slightly outclassed, but we are 9-2. and two. They are 8-3. and three. If they win, they'll have the tiebreaker over us. If we win, we will have the tiebreaker over them. 
We won't need a tiebreaker over them, though. We'd be two full games better. But let's load into the rivalry. Here we go. Starting off, Oklahoma kicks off. We get the ball. It's a full crowd here in Texas. You can see all the burnt orange in the stands. That is caught. That is Fluker. That is 15 yards and a first down. On first down, we are going to hand it to the main man, Amari Hookham. Big play. His first carry in the series. Gain of 12 and a first down. On first down, we're going back to Fluker. Three plays, that's three first downs. Another gain of 12. Let's go, baby. Let's go. On first down, hand to Amari Hookham. The main man gets five yards. So two carries, 17 yards. Not bad at all. We're going right back to him. He's shown us no reason not to. That's seven yards. That is a first down. He's averaging eight yards a carry. So we're going to pass to him. Get him freed up there. That is four yards. The so second and six. We're going to go to a Lee Van Noy over the top. Because you're expecting the run, we get the 12-yard touchdown pass. It's 6-0. Extra point pending. Kick is up, and it is good from Landry. We're up 7-0. You kick it off. Oklahoma with the ball. They're running it. They're throwing it. We can't stop them. Coley's not strong enough, and they tie it at 7. Five seconds left in the quarter. Amari Hookham, it's go time, baby. It's go time, gain of four, and that's where we'll start the second quarter, just shy of the 30, second and six. On second and six, there we go. Bounce inside, break some tackles, 12 yards first down. Let's go, Amari. Let's go. On first down, that is past two hook him. Gain of 11, first down. I meant to run it, hit the wrong button. It still worked out wonderfully. Okay, Amari Hookham, he's a little sluggish. We need to get the ball to someone else as he picks up one yard. It is second and nine. We hit Fluker. He gets just past the first down marker, but that's all the more we needed from him. On first down, a Lee Van Noy over the top. He's having a big game so far. That's his second catch. That's 22 yards and a first down. He also, of course, has the touchdown catch. Then Amari Hookham is stuffed. He is clearly slowing down. Oh, my goodness. He did not get a good night's rest, but we pass to him. He picks up 13 yards. We've got first and goal at the two. We're going to pound it right up the middle with him, and he gets the rushing touchdown. That makes it 13-7, to seven. kicking the extra point. Kick is up, and it's good, so we're up 14-7. Oklahoma with the ball, 37 seconds until the half. They pass it. We can't stop him. They're at midfield. They air it out. Missed tackle. Half is over. They don't score. Starting the second half, Oklahoma with the ball. They pass it all the way downfield, and then they run it in for a touchdown. They tie the game at 14. A minute 24 left in the third quarter. Got the deep shot to Fluker wide open, but he's not going to catch it. Oh, my goodness. We just missed on that throw. Amari Hookham on second down. Big run. Gain of 13 yards in a first down. You love that. On first down, breaks a tackle, but only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. On second and 10, I meant to run it. Instead, I passed it. We get three yards with Amari Hookham. Got third and... On third and seven, I meant to pass that, and we did. We're two yards short. We're going to kick the field goal. Try to take a three-point lead here. We've made from 57 before. This is from 58. Big pressure kick coming up from Landry. The kick is up, and it is good, and we're up 17-14. Oklahoma with the ball. They're driving downfield. They get a touchdown. They're up 21-17. Five seconds left in the third. We've got the fourth quarter as we try to come back and beat the Sooners. Big run from Hookham just short of 10 yards. We start the fourth quarter there. Hookham gets stuffed on second and inches, so third down coming up. On third down, we're pounding the rock, get the first down. Dive forward, gain of six, great celebration. On first down, let's do a little quarterback draw because we've shown to either pass or run with our running back. We run with Ishmael, pick up seven yards, second and three coming up. On second and three, bounce outside with Hookham. Oh, he broke a tackle. He's loose. He is loose. Oh, my goodness. He might score too quickly, but we're taking the points. 
47-yard rushing touchdown, Amari Hookham. Extra point can make it a three-point lead, and it is good. We're up 24-21. Oklahoma with the ball. They're driving. They score 28-24, 34 seconds left. Got to go 68 yards. We've got to do what we've got to do. Oh, we got tackled inbounds. Timeout, 25 seconds left, 52 yards to go. That is not good, but it is what it is. I threw it away. I overthrew the pass. We're going to call an audible. Okay, there we go. Fluker with the catch. Gets a block. He's inside the 30, inside the 20. Timeout, 10 seconds left. We're at the 18-yard line. Can we complete the comeback? Here we go. To the sidelines, incomplete. I was just trying to get a few yards. Second down. We're going to use a couple audibles. We're going to use all the audibles. This is last play of the game. Ali Van Noy. Can he ice the game? We win. Let's go. We're headed to the Big 12 championship. We win the Red River rivalry. This extra point really doesn't matter. We're going for two, and we're throwing it away because we won the Red River rivalry 30-28. to Hook em horns. Big dubs. We finished the regular season. 10 and 2 and we advance to the big 12 championship where we'll take on our in-state rival the baylor bears we're gonna continue nasir feeler you know what it's on me man we won the game we're celebrating even if you didn't play well we're celebrating you had no tackles what are you doing man what are you doing charlie chubb boost your blocking boost your blocking and let's go through the stats Jawil Ishmael, 14 of 17, 175 and two TDs and a rush for seven yards. Not bad, not bad. Amari Hookham, the main man, 13 carries, but 116 yards. He averaged almost nine yards per carry. He had two touchdowns. He didn't fumble at all this video. That's insane. He also had six catches for 38 yards. He wasn't the most productive receiver today, which was kind of strange. But his rushing game has taken off. It's taken a step to the next level. Ali Van Noy, three catches, 51 yards, two TDs. Overall, very efficient on the season. And Dwayne Fluker, you know, he's had the disciplinary issues, but five catches for 85 yards. He made some big plays when it counted today, the 34-yard catch on the last drive. We wouldn't have won without him either. It's Shamar Landry even, 4-4 kicking. Career-long 58-yard field goal was the difference as we knocked off the Sooners. We keep alive our New Year's Six hopes, and we get to the Big 12 Championship. So next week's video will be just the Big 12 Championship. The following video will be whatever our bowl game ends up being, along with the offseason. So that's kind of the vision going forward. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more Retro Bowl content. Horns up, baby. In the comments, who are you most impressed by based on their performance in today's video? I have to say, Amari Hookham took a big step in the rushing game. Dwayne Fluker kind of flew under the radar. And Ali Van Noy, he was always steady. But you could even go Shamar Landry. He made all his kicks. He did his job. The whole team did their jobs, really. And now we're headed to the Big 12 championship game where we take on the Baylor Bears. I couldn't be more excited. Hopefully you guys are excited as well. Because that's all for today's video, guys. I'm G from Skull Gaming Network. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.